And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment has come. Poland versus Mexico! Two diamonds, one ring. Tonight, who will shine the brightest? Thomas y Caballeros! It's Golden Time! Introducing to you the former WBL Junior Middleweight Champion of the World, here is the reigning, defending WBO Intercontinental Middleweight Champion, El Hijo Invicto de Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico, Jaime Mundiga! From Poland, two weeks notice. Stepping in against this Tijuana assassin, Jaime Munguia, scheduled for 12 rounds here in El Paso, Texas. Munguia promised to come out a little quicker than he did in his last fight. Said the lack of a crowd against Johnson confused him a little bit. Said he felt like a, it was a sparring session. That is not a big punch. He only has five knockouts in 21 fights, so I don't think power is his strong hey, suit. But Gabe Rosado is not a big power puncher either, is but he? That, that's exactly right, Todd. All, all you need to know is have the confidence that you can hurt the opponent. And Rosado and, of course, Zerometa have uh, the confidence. Hey, you dropped Danny Jacobs too, didn't you, Sergio? Yes, I did, but he got up. <laughs> <laughs> Undefeated Mexican fighter taking on Camille Sherometa. A rather pedestrian first round. Zayf Munguia opens up a little bit. Yeah, it's good advice from Eric Morales in the corner, asking Munguia to pick up the pace a little bit. You don't want to get into kind of a jab fest in the middle of the ring with Camille Zarameta. That basically offers Zarameta his only chance to win. Nice left to the liver area. Straight a little low. But you, want, you don't want to get discouraged. Keep throwing that shot, there just like that. There it is again. And even, we'll say this about Sherimetta, that jab is on point. Would you expect him to be more mobile? He's standing right in front of Munguia. He must not respect the power of Munguia just yet. And looking for the counters. I actually like Sherimetta's game plan right here. Anytime that Munguia goes to the body, he returns the favor. And now Munguia's sitting down on those shots a little bit. If you're Munguia, you want to stay committed. Oh, nice uppercut, and then a left hook from Munguia. There's the money punch he likes now. Right uppercut, left hook. Yeah. Round three, rather. Tiny Munguia in the white with red trim. Sherimana, similar color trunks. He's got on the black shoes. A couple good body shots to open the round for Munguia. <laughs> Just missing the uppercut was Munguia. Nice variety of punches right there by Jaime Munguia. Upstairs and downstairs, jabs and hooks. As you can see, Munguia is not throwing as many jabs as he was the first two rounds. But don't you want to be a moving target for, for Munguia? No, you do. I mean, that's that's what I would do. That's what uh, uh, Dennis Hogan did against Jaime Munguia. That's what Alote tried to do against Munguia. In a way, tried to do it. Most of those were blocks by the Polish fighter. So is that one, but the crowd roars in. All right, Chris Mannix, how do you have it through three full rounds? I've got 29-28 in favor of Jaime Munguia. I gave the first round to Sheriff Mehta. There you see again, Munguia, before the referee could step in, lands a nice quick body shot. I gave Sheriff Mehta the first round based on lack of activity for Munguia, but since then, Munguia has been in control over these last two. He's flirting right with that belt line. Sheriff Mehta appealing to the referee, who's having none of it. And there is Eric Morales in the corner of Jaime Munguia. And what do you make of that partnership so far, Chris? I think it's been excellent. I mean, look, you've got an offense with your hands up. You can see his face getting really red. I mean, those, those punches, whether they're blocked or not, have an effect on you. Not only that, but you're giving the bigger, stronger fighter confidence to come forward because he's landing something, even if it's on the outside of your gloves. Sherimetta already. 
Chris, if I told you, ooh, a nice right uppercut. If I told you before the fight, Sheremeta is going to stand right in front of Jaime Munguia, what would you have said? Tell him he didn't learn much from the Gennady Golovkin fight. Dodgers, Dodgers, Dodgers. He is flirting with disaster, but maybe he knows something we don't know. There's a rare ray of sunshine. He says no. And his toes tight. Tight boxing. He likes coming forward. He, oh, that one got him. Left hook to the chin. Made Sheremeta's feet shuffle. He's just in there with an immovable object and Mungia coming forward. So maybe I think that's what pulls him. Oh, right in the sternum with the left. And then the uppercut. The right uppercut. I think that hurts Sheremeta. Oh, yeah. I got him. No protest. That's all. That was a clean right hook to the left side of Sheremeta's body. Well, if there's one thing we did learn about Sheremeta against Triple G, it's that he can take a beating. <laughs> against Triple G, Sheremeta only landed 59 punches compared to Golovkin's 228. I love that. Yeah, and he's not fighting the fight of a, a of a boxer who doesn't have power in his fist. But like he said, he feels he can knock out Mungia. So, I mean, ignorance is bliss sometimes. <laughs> Good line. I'm also reluctant to make any kind of sweeping declaration. The biggest punch, the toughest punch they recover from, are the ones you don't see. Sheremet is seeing a lot of them, and they're all hitting him right in the face. In the foot. Oh, what a big uppercut. Best punch of the fight. And now Sheremeta really looks like he's hurting. I don't feel this fight's going to last much longer, guys. The referee's been taking a long look at Sheremeta through this. Not a, no, but no knockdowns up until this point. But the referee may decide Sheremeta's taking enough punishment. Yeah, he's getting closer and closer, isn't he? Closer and closer. Sheremeta does answer back. This crowd wants blood, though. And two, three left hooks by Sheremeta. Boy, he just missed. He just missed. There it was. And then a straight. Sheremeta fighting back. Give him credit. Refusing to give in. How are you doing? Did you see him? You okay? You just finished with you. That's it. There it is. It's over. And that is it. On his stool. Jaime Munguia doesn't know yet. Now he does. It's over. That'll go down as a knockout. Jaime Munguia. 37-0 with 30 KOs and a nice performance in El Paso. It took Golovkin seven rounds to take out Sheremeta. Munguia did it in six. You win it by TKO, ladies and gentlemen, and still undefeated. The WBO Intercontinental Middleweight Champion from Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico. Jaime, move!